Welcome everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video, back on JP once again, because they released actually another strength, and so I just wanted to talk about it um, while I was here. So yeah, Summer BB, the BB they forgot, the one that I said last video, I was like, oh yeah, Summer BB didn't get one, I wonder if she would get one. Didn't think she would because she'd be too good. She did end up getting one, so I wanted to talk about it, look at it, and kind of think about it and give some thoughts about it. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment down below how you feel about anything, and let's keep going on and on. All right. So for this event, not only did this come with a buff, this also comes with a banner, which is the return of Summer BB. If you also didn't know, some other things that actually happened with her is that now her Noble Phantasm, the way it currently works is that she always is in her third ascension, which is the giant cape look. Um, but they made it so that now when she uses her NP, it's reflective of what Spiriton dress she's currently wearing. So it will actually change and it also kind of messes up her elbows because the animation was designed with a cape to hide it looking a little bit weird. But um, yeah, that was a nice thing. I really like that. I, I really like the different outfits of this and I always thought it was weird that it always defaulted to that one. But I'm glad that they looked into updating that a little bit. Now they need to update it again to maybe fix the elbows just a little bit. I actually don't think the pose is that bad. I think it makes sense. The problem is the, by the way you're staring at it, it ends up looking weird. But anyway, let's move on, shall we? So here we go. Summer update self-modification EX turn to self-modification love EX. Increases on attack for three turns. Gains 20 crit stars when using extra attack for three turns. That's brand new. And this is a great buff. Funny enough, the most I would actually... Th so here's the thing about her, which is, I think, fair enough when you think about the fact that the cover of... The first banner for this unit, by the way, for this event was Janako. And Janako did not receive any buffs. <laughs> and out of all the units pictured here, including the four star, um, the free four star, she probably needed them the most because she's built a little bit different from the others because she's defensive and i think defensive units kind of they go one of two ways either they're busted at the start like um georgios is where jojo's has like been one of the best tanks in the entire game and he's a one-star writer and he does fantastic and he just kind of ages with the game gracefully but then you have others who came a little bit later who don't necessarily defend as good as the funny i actually think it is the later defenders that end up being a little bit worse for wear like lip is another defender and she came out a little bit later and she did need multiple buffs to get a little bit better but when you compare them to maybe some of the earlier ones maybe it is just georgios but either way i think she needed a buff so and not Summer BB. Summer BB was the last person who needed an actual buff the only thing i would say that she would need a buff in is probably the np because it can do a little bit of damage wise it's not the greatest it could be a little bit better which is i think is a fair ascension on this i think she does a lot of other crazy stuff which is why this does such low damage because if she did any more damage she'd be kind of busted um and having having a friend who has her nb5 she's really busted because <laughs> her damage is at 500 percent, and then she also has that crazy kid of hers so something to at least keep in mind on that but yeah, with, so with this combination, the reason that it's really nice that she gets 20 crit stars um, whenever she does an extra attack. Uh, also, I believe the attack increases either 20% or 30%. It's one of the two. It, it, it starts at 20% and then it goes to 30%. Um, the reason it's really nice on her is because of this skill right here, which is the Faceless Moon EX, which is probably one of the most busted skills in the game. Um, I would definitely say it's up there. The reason is that it locks a set of dealt command cards for three turns. Um, cards do not get reshuffled, and as long as no one is defeated, it stays like that for three turns, and then you're getting crit stars every turn. Ten here. So that means combined with the other one, the only thing that it doesn't work out is that on turn one, you technically would not get anything. You don't really get to reap the benefits until turn two, three, and then four when everything resets. Uh, but for those beginning turns, it's gonna, for turns two and three, it's going to be fantastic because she is also a Buster kit because she has Buster um, 
NP and then two buster cards. So if you get her in a buster loop, you'll be doing a lot of damage for sure. At least in theory. She is a moon cancer, so she's not- yeah, she is a moon cancer, so she actually <laughs> doesn't have advantage over most people. So she doesn't do crazy output like you would expect from a berserker, but she's still fairly respectable for someone who's dealing base damage to everything. Except for I think one class, which I can't remember what it is at the moment because it's late as I'm recording this. So yeah, I actually really like this buff for her. I think it makes a lot of sense and it actually plays in with a th her third skill, which is something that is unique to her. No one else is going to ever get this ability because it's just too good. If you think about it, don't search this wiki. Oh my god, this wiki is going to be the death of me. Um, if you think about this with any of the big units, like imagine Super Orion who had the ability to lock in his command cards. <laughs> Or if BB was one of the supporters and this was a, in general, charge MP gauge to anyone and give them some buster attack up, she'd be busted. She'd be... we'd have another problem with, um, buster overrunning everything. But she isn't. She's very much self-contained and it ends up working out perfectly fine where she ends up being a very respectable unit that doesn't necessarily break the game, but she can do a lot of fun game-breaking stuff, if that makes any sense to say. At least that's what I think about her. If you have a differing opinion, feel free to leave it down below. But that's always what I felt about her. Um, so yeah, very good buff. Um, it, it does help a little bit with the damage thing because she is getting a slight boost to damage thanks to this. It stops her trying to search this wiki. So yeah, it's very interesting to me that they put Janako on the cover gave her a banner that didn't buff her, but maybe they're saving it for when it's a specific Lost Belt 4 kind of thing. Who knows? Very weird. It's a very weird task to give so many buffs to everyone else. <laughs> Basically all the other Moon Cancer units, but uh, Janako and Kiara, Summer Kiara who does not need it, got a buff, which is pretty funny. The one that needed it the most did not get any, so yeah that's the end of the video everyone thank you very much for watching as always, like i said at the beginning feel free to leave a like do any of that it helps a whole bunch and i'll see you guys next time for whenever anything comes out related to the game that i can talk about i like talking about game in general so it feels nice though i wish they would update around the time that it's not 3 a.m <laughs> that would be kind of nice <sighs> I actually wonder what's going to happen next on the horizon for JP. Let me actually look. Maybe I can see. It's, it's, uh, actually, I just remind there might be slight spoilers if I look down, so I'm going to stop myself. Look here, and I'm going to properly end the video and say goodbye. Peace out. <laughs>